Hi guys, today in this video we are going to balance this equation where we have lead hydroxide and hydrochloric acid on reactant side and a molecule of water and lead chloride on the other side. So to start balancing the equation, we are going to first check the number of atoms on both reactant and product side. So starting with reactant side, we have one atom of lead or PB. We have two atoms of oxygen over here because there is a coefficient to over here. And then we have two hydrogen atoms. Plus there is one hydrogen atom over here, so three hydrogen atoms. Do not forget this hydrogen atoms and always make sure to count every atom on both the sides. So we have three hydrogen atoms and we have one chlorine atom. So now reactant side is done. Let's move forward to the product side. For product side, we have one atom of lead over here. For oxygen, we have one atom of oxygen over here. For hydrogen, we have two atoms of hydrogen over here. And for chlorine, we have two atoms here. So as you can see, uh, chlorine atoms, there are two on the product side, but only one on reactant side. So it is not possible. It should be equal on both the sides. So we are going to start balancing the equations by first balancing the chlorine atoms on both the sides. So we are going to add a coefficient 2 over here. So now we have two chlorine atoms on reactant side as well as product side and which means we have to update our uh, hydrogen atoms on the reactant which means we have to update our hydrogen atoms on the reactant side as well. So now we have two plus two four hydrogen atoms over here. Okay. Now let's uh, check if the equation is balanced. Now you will see that there is a difference um, of hydrogen atoms on the re product side. So you have to recalculate it, put a coefficient to over here. And now you have two plus two, four hydrogen atoms over here. And now it changes the number of oxygen atoms as well. So now you have two oxygen atoms and we have one lead atom on both reactant and product side. So this equation is completely balanced as we have same number of atoms on both reactant and product side. And I hope this video helps you to understand on how to balance an equation. First you count the number of atoms on both the sides. Try and balance out the number of atoms first on product side, uh, first on reactant side and then proceed to the product side. And for more such videos on balancing equation, lower structure, molecular geometry, polarity of the molecules, make sure to subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.